mostly dry South Florida, but it has been fascinating to watch this system. Also, thankfully that this is going to be a very weak system because it is struggling to organize right now. Hurricane hunters investigated it earlier in the afternoon. They are not able to find that closed circulation and the strongest winds are not near the center. They're within the stronger thunderstorms, which have been around near Key West, and this is about 250 miles away from that center because of the organization of the storm. As I said, as it is trying to make landfall tomorrow at that point, all of the heaviest of the rainfall will already be east of Florida. So this is kind of what they're undergoing right now is kind of the worst of the storm. Now the winds will pick up again a bit as we may still see some organization and maybe a little bit of strengthening of those winds as the storm approaches South Florida. But again, in terms of the heaviest of the rain, they're kind of getting a lot of it right now. And by the time it does near the coast, most of those heavy storms will likely be already well offshore as the system may try and get better organized as it moves out into the open Atlantic waters. But here's what's happening. The storm is sitting over the dreaded loop current. What's going on? It's over that deep, warm water that's supposed to allow all storms to just explode in strength. It's because of the hostile environment. It is undergoing strong wind shear from the southwest and incredibly dry air across the Gulf of Mexico. You kind of need all the ingredients, not only warm sea surface temperatures, but low or no wind shear, and you need to get rid of that dry air. It's only having one of those three key ingredients, and despite the fact that it is sitting over that dreaded loop current, nothing is happening to it right now. Now again, it still could organize a bit before landfall, but really the main threat is going to be the heavy 